This is my imaginary lighter, guys. Put your lighters up. Who? Man. Netflix? See ya. Right stuff? Yes. Now that's the stuff. And we're not talking about Hostess. What is up, guys? This is Vinge here bringing you guys another Right Stuff anime review. And I'm super excited to do this one because I got a lot to talk about. But before I get into it, I would like to give a huge shout out to Right Stuff Anime for bringing in this m -m -m masterpiece my way. And today we're going to be talking about Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin chronicle of the loom battle field and so why don't we go ahead and get started with the box art positives and man oh man just by looking at the cover even if you're a casual fan of gundam you will recognize greatness right here because of the simple fact that the art design has been upgraded because now we have a more modern look and what makes this so awesome is the fact that you know how when a series is redone sometimes the characters are look completely different and they're out of touch with the original that's not the case here because all of the characters have the same character design from the original Gundam franchise, but it just looks squeaky clean and has a cleaner modern look and on top of that when you watch it do The characters literally look hand-drawn Another thing I also want to mention about the cover that's freaking awesome is the structure of the logo I like how you have mobile suit Gundam in bold red, but in the middle you got the origin and think about it, origin. What are we talking about here? This home video is going to be all about the backstory, the things that took place before the start of the original anime adaptation of Gundam, which I found pretty awesome. And then you have Chronicle of the Loom Battlefield in like a clean white font under it, just giving you an idea of what this focuses on what part of the backstory are we going to learn more about and once again did i forget to mention clean vivid colors definitely got a nice look to it i love it so if you ever become interested in this home video as you're watching this presentation then make sure to check out the description section below to get the right stuff for the right price did I say price or price? Price! Dadgum it. Anyway, why don't we go ahead and talk about the premise of this. So, of course, the major focus here that I want to key in on is the fact that this adds story depth. You get that backstory because you're going to watch events that led up to the main story, which I've mentioned previously so the focus is going to be a bit more on the zombie family but you also get moments with sailor and her resolve and her motivational changes and on top of that you also get to see char climb the ladder as he is making a move to further his own agenda which is going to be very important and i'll talk more about that later so let's go ahead and talk about the zombie family here because this is very important because me I'm more of a casual Gundam watcher many years ago sharing my age here uh, many years ago I've actually seen snippets of the an old original anime adaptation of Gundam and I automatically assumed that the Xeon forces were evil just based on their dress code. I mean, the colors were darker um, and I automatically assumed that they were evil. It was kind of like the color combinations and the way they dressed kind of like screamed out dictator to me. But and and when you compare the dress code of the Xeon forces to the Federation, well, the Federation has like 
colors like red, white, and blue kind of like reminds me of like a pure mystical creature like Pegasus. So they're clear to, clearly the Federation are the good guys, but after watching this home video, it turns out that the zombie family is the antagonist group, which was very shocking, but at the same time, it also made sense because it made me think, ooh, so the Xeon people are not evil. It's just that the zombie, fam the zombie family actually took control of the Xeon forces and they're the ones pulling all the strings. So, I mean, it just goes to show that this is like, it reminds me of human history because of the fact that the Xeon forces are uh, member, not members, but they are the people, citizens of the space colonies, right? So they want it. All they want is independence and they're fighting the Federation for their independence because the Federation denied them of that. And so it's like, oh, all right. The Zion forces are not evil. And if I said Zion, I sincerely apologize. Just know that sometimes I get Zion and Zion mixed up. So I just don't want people with flames and pitchforks to come to the chat like, Heretic, you don't know what you're talking about, you freaking noob. Get out of here. Unsubscribe. Unfollow on Twitter. Burn this clown. You know, I, I don't want anything of that. But let me get back into focus. So, um, the zombie family is responsible for the assassination of Rum Daikun in order to take control of Xeon. Because Rum Daikun was the original leader and his methods were not as destructive as the zombie families. So why don't we go ahead and introduce Daguin, which is the leader, the balding guy in the purple, thinking that he's Prince. No, he ain't no freaking Prince. And then you have Garma, which is the younger, insecure son. Then you have Jiren, which is the more, what's the word, more accomplished, older son of the zombie family. And then you have Kaecilia, and she's the only daughter of the zombie, zombie family. And so, why don't I go ahead and talk about this individual that goes by the name of Rambaral. And he's very interesting because he is an honorable soldier of Zeon. And after watching his moments in this home video, this man is the one that triggered my curiosity about the Zeon forces. Are they truly evil? Are, or are they just being manipulated? And for the most part, they're just being manipulated because Ron Barrow did not want to be involved in using a space colony to destroy millions of citizens that are citizens of Zeon's enemies. He didn't want to do that. And he did, doesn't even want to involve citizens in war, regardless of what whose side they're on. So... He believes in honor. Honorable victories must uphold moral standards. This character is freaking dope. He is the reason why I did a little extra research. So now we're going to go ahead and talk about the goatest Gundam character alive. Because I was looking around and a lot of people are huge fans of Char. He has been through quite a few name changes and I don't want to spoil that for you. But just know that he wants to get revenge on the Zabi family for his father's death after learning the truth that the Zabi family are the ones that assassinated his father. And so he decided to join the ranks of Xeon forces in order to get close to his enemies to find the opportunity to strike. And last but not least, I am not going to say less, but I'm going to say more about Sayla. Sayla is freaking awesome. She is the daughter of Daikun, and she's also the sister of Shar. Now, in the beginning, it seemed as though Sayla was content with her life, 
But the moment that information was relayed to her about the whereabouts of her brother, that just awakened a sad that I thought I would not see because in the beginning, I thought she was more of a damsel in distress, but don't judge a book by its cover. She's more than a pretty face because when she was motivated, bruh, she showed the power, the resolve. She showed the skill to protect those that she loved. Sailor is Sailor Moon. No, I'm, shut up, Vince. Anyway, just look at that picture. The picture that I got up there says a lot about Sailor. She is all over the place emotionally, but she knows how to hold it down. When life gets crazy, she flips the switch and gets crazier. And you'll find out when you watch this. Now, dudes, I'm telling you, this is another thing that I want to talk about here. Like I said, the look. Just look at the pictures that I got up there. Look at the pictures, bruh. I mean, like, you have the old picture. And you follow that arrow to the new modern look? Dude, do not tell me you would not want to see Sunrise um, put a project together to reboot the original Gundam anime adaptation, dude. Please tell me you want that to happen, because seeing that, I'm like, dude, I want that. Like I said, more vibrant colors. They still retain the character designs, but it just looks more modern. I feel like if they would have completely changed the designs, that would have ruined it for a lot of people, but they did not do that. The design, the character, the original character designs are still intact, but they just look gorgeous, man. And let me talk about this. Great CG effects, and let me tell you, when it comes to CG effects, it is so easy to notice the flaws of CG when done completely wrong. And to give you an example of that, think about um, if you've seen Berserk, like the most recent anime adaptation of Berserk and they use, C they use CG effects and those effects were horrific, <laughs> horrific. But when it comes to this home video, <laughs> the CG effects are scrumptious and then the animation of the characters and the mobile suits looks absolutely complete it just was an incredible experience and it just makes me want makes me not just want but crave a reboot so why don't we go ahead and share the last thing that i want to share which was the freaking audio amazing audio the music fit fits every scene it's always important to have good music but most importantly of all for those of you that are english dub watchers the english dub is really freaking good <laughs> and to bring that message home guys you need to listen to the don't say goodbye english cover oh my god like when i heard that it gave me the chills, and we're going to give you a sample of that right now. Deep in my mind, neon signs shining bright. Smoke faded in. This is my imaginary lighter, guys. Put your lighters up. Doors left ajar with a glimmer of hope. Just so you come back again Time goes by Goes by That was flipping amazing, right? That was freaking dope. I know you love it. I know it. But another thing that I want to bring up is the sound effects, which were top notch now one thing that i will say about this um set is like this is more like a it's like a it's pretty short you can watch all of this in one day if you wanted to so it's kind of more like movie life 
hopefully that Discord sound effect didn't pop up that notification. <laughs> I really hope that we actually see a reboot adaptation of the original Gundam anime. That would be so flipping awesome. I highly recommend you guys watch this if you want to get into Gundam because real talk. I would get the old Gundam just to see the awesome things that Char has done since a lot of people hype him up a lot. Especially with me being a uh, casual Gundam watcher because like after watching this, I literally took the time to research the the happenings of the original Gundam and I'm very intrigued. So with that said, Hey, if you enjoyed this video and you are and you are super curious about Mobile Suit Gundam the Origin Chronicle of the Loom Battlefield, then make sure to check out the description section below to get the right stuff for the right price. And with that said, please remember, if you want the right stuff, then go to rightstuffanime.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace and God bless.